Today I'm going to show you how to add gravity and collisions in DaVinci Resolve. Let's start by adding a fusion composition by going to effects in top left and dragging in a fusion composition. We enter it by right clicking and selecting open in fusion page or by clicking the magic wand icon at the bottom. Inside fusion composition add a background node and connect it to the media out. Change the color of the background node to one you like. Now add a polygon mask, a background node and connect them. Connect the background node to the other background. This will create a merge node. Change the color of this background node to any color you prefer. Go to the polygon mask and disable the keyframe. Now add a grid node by pressing shift spacebar and set the grid color to dark tone. Now go to the polygon mask and draw your shape. In this case I will create a sort of bowl. So I will add multiple points. Now we'll change the border width to a value that's clearly visible. Let's remove the grid node and make the lines a bit thicker. Now let's move everything around to make some more space. We add another merge node, then press shift spacebar and search for p emitter and add it. Then search for p render again with shift spacebar and connect to the merge node. Now click on the p emitter, go to frame 0 and set the number of particles you want to generate. In this case I will set 7. Click the keyframe icon, move forward one frame and bring the value down to 0. Now we'll set the lifespan to 1000. Go to the style section and change paint to hang on. For hang on type, click on the circle. Then go to the color section, choose a color you like and increase the size to your preference. In this case I will set to 3.465. Now go to the region section, change from sphere to rectangle, increase the width and height and move the y position up a bit. Now add the pflock node and set repeal strength to 0.02. Then still using shift spacebar and search p direction force node. This will act as gravity. Set the strength to 0.02. 06. Now add the P-Bounce node. Set the elasticity to 0.252, variance to 0.339 and go to the region section. Change from line to bezier and now follow the shape you created earlier. Once the shape is done, move it slightly upward, otherwise the circle will fall through it. As you can see the circle pass through the shape, so you will need to move them upward and also sideways. And that's how we created physics inside DaVinci Resolve. If you ever notice that shapes object pass through the p-bounce, meaning the surface where the shapes bounce, you can add another p-bounce node by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V and adjust the size by placing it a bit lower. In this way, if the circle go through the first p-bounce layer, the second one will stop them. I will be posting new videos soon with even more advanced animations, so make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like if this video was helpful and write in the comment if anything wasn't clear I will personally reply to help you out